Hey YouTube, welcome back to the shop. Got a story for you today about a bug zapper and a storm. It was the late 70s. I was uh, probably in my, I was either like 12 or 13 years old. In the summers, I would spend with my, my grandparents, my maternal grandparents. They owned a small house in a town called West Wildwood, New Jersey. We called it the beach house. It wasn't really a beach house. Wildwood was and, and still is a very popular uh, summer vacation destination. Long boardwalk, beaches, all the stuff you'd expect from a from a summer vacation destination. West Wildwood is an island <clears throat> off to the side of Wildwood and Really, it's a town in geography only. About a mile long, maybe maybe a quarter mile wide. At a bar, a store, a police station. One policeman, his name was Carl. You'd see him several times a day making his rounds. But it was really a wonderful place for, for a boy my age to, to spend his summers. There was crabbing and fishing, bike riding. Three or four other boys that we would We'd all get together at the beginning of summer and reestablish our friendship, which would end come the return to school. A little sandy playground right on the bay where we would sit on the swings at night until what we were thinking of as the wee hours of the morning, probably about 8.30 p.m. Shooting the breeze about life the way only 11 year old boys can do. Now, the house was not on the bay, it was about two blocks away from the bay. But there weren't many houses there at the time. So you could sit on the front porch, and it had this wonderful enclosed front porch that was just all windows. And you could sit on that front porch, and you could look right out onto the bay from, from two blocks away. One of my favorite things to do in August, we'd get these big storms, sometimes tropical storms, occasionally a hurricane. And you could sit out on that patio and you could you could just be surrounded by rain and thunder and lightning and wind and, and you could see the lightning striking the bay. It was dramatic. My grandmother she was a formidable woman. I loved her and my grandfather dearly, still do, and, and I know that they loved me dearly. Spent every summer with them from the time I was about six years old until I was in college. But 
my grandmother had a strong Germanic sensibility about her. She was raised by a woman, my, my, my great grandmother, who I do remember, who was, um, she, she went to the German church. She spoke German at home. Her mother spoke only German. And they had that, that German work ethic, that, that German sensibility about them. There were no nonsense people. They loved, they had fun, but they didn't have much time for nonsense. And one of the things she liked to do in the summer, because it was hot and we did not have air conditioning, was she liked to sit outside in the evening and maybe have dinner outside, maybe have a cookout. Maybe just sit there with friends and family and you know, chat, gossip. Drink a few Miller High Life. So when the bug zappers came out, these bucket-sized devices that you'd hang up and they had a eerie blue light coming out of them and they would draw insects in and they'd get caught in this electric grid and get zapped to their death. When they came out, we had to get one because my grandmother didn't like the, uh, the bugs. And initially we hung it up right on the patio, right, right above the area where we would have been congregating but it turns out that these things actually draw bugs in from from all around because of the light so my grandfather was instructed and i use the word instructed in its full sense that he would put a pole up in the middle of the yard to hold the bug zapper So my grandfather sunk a piece of pipe into the ground, probably about three feet down. And then there was another long uh, galvanized pipe that slipped into that one. It was probably, I'm going to say it was about eight feet of pipe. Now at the one end, there was a through hole, and you would put the pipe down and put a bolt through it. So, so the bolt went through the outer pipe that was sunk into the ground, as well as the inner pipe, so that it couldn't pull up. The other end of the eight-foot pipe was a bracket that the bug zapper hung on. And a bug zapper got a little tray underneath it because my grandmother did not like the idea of the dead bugs falling into the lawn. So one of my jobs was to get out the aluminum ladder and climb up to the bug zapper and remove the little pan and take it to the trash, empty it, and then return it. Not a bad thing for a 11 year old boy to do. So I lived there with my grandparents from the time school closed until the time school opened. My grandfather would, would work during the week, so he would drive to West Wildwood on Friday night right from work, and he'd leave early on Monday morning to go back to work. But during the week, it was just me and my grandmother. And one day, a storm came in. Now, there were, are a couple of hurricanes over the years that have hit New Jersey, and in particular, have hit Wildwood. 
I'm not talking about these big ones that cause massive devastation. I'm talking about the ones that are just strong enough. They might even be tropical storms, but just strong enough to sort of flood the low-lying areas. Uh, some tree limbs maybe come down. For us, it was mostly flooding, but the high winds could, could wreak havoc on things. And the lightning and thunder were spectacular. So I'm sitting in my favorite spot, watching the lightning hit the bay. And my grandmother comes onto the patio and she says, I think we should take down the bug zapper. Now I knew what that meant. What that meant was go take down the bug zapper. And one of the things my grandfather taught me very early on was that there was no point in arguing with my grandmother. Not that she was often wrong, not that it was in any way necessary to defer, but it was pointless. You weren't going to win. So I looked out the window at the storm and I looked back over at my grandmother and I said, okay. Went and got the aluminum ladder. Put it up against the galvanized steel pole climb up the ladder, unplug the bug zapper first. Actually, it would have been unplugged because that's how it was turned off and on. There was just this long extension cord that connected across to a, the patio enclosure and went down to an outdoor plug. So it would have been unplugged, but it was connected to the patio enclosure by this electric line. So I'm standing up there on an aluminum ladder holding this bug zapper, which is a big metal device, and I got this power cord stretching across the yard and a big metal pole standing in front of me, and I look out over the bay and I see lightning strike, and I think to myself, I better get in the house quick. So I scamper down the ladder, and I go and I, I put the bug zapper under the, the patio enclosure and you know, tuck it into a corner. And then I go back out and I grab the aluminum ladder and fold it up and I go and I put that away. And I go back and I, I step back into the, there was a back door into the kitchen. My grandmother's put newspaper down on the floor because I'm wet. And she says, you didn't take the pole down. So I tell her to get me a wrench because I'm not allowed to walk across the kitchen floor. I explain where it is. She knows what it is. She she hands me a, a crescent wrench. Not a... Um, yeah, crescent wrench. Adjustable wrench. And I go back out. And I'm kneeling down in the in the driving rain and I still have this memory of the the grass sort of floating a little bit in about an inch of water and the rain sh like striking that water and splashing as it strikes and I'm, I'm there trying to get the I got the the nut loose and I, I took the bolt out and at this point the winds are really getting bad And I go and I lift up this eight foot length of galvanized pipe from the base, you know, from my 11 year old standpoint. And it immediately wants to tip and I have to run to prevent it from falling. And I'm, I'm running back and forth across this yard, soaking wet, splashing water, holding this eight foot galvanized pole 
lightning striking, wind blowing. Finally got the thing under control. Was able to tilt it and work my way up to the middle so that I could carry it. I got it under the patio. Picked up the wrench. Picked up the, the, the nut and the bolt. Thought about putting it back into the hole and then thought better of it. Stuck it in my pocket. Go back into the kitchen. Step onto the newspaper. My grandmother's gotten me the, my bathrobe. And what she says to me is, What took you so long? Were you playing around out there? Look at you, you're soaking wet. Get those clothes off and get right into the shower. Uh, that was her form of saying thank you. I don't think she realized how dangerous it was to, to do what I had done. She did care about me a great deal. Uh, but sometimes the contrast between an 11 year old's point of view of the world and her point of view of the world could be striking. That's the bug zapper story. Thanks an awful lot for watching.